Okay, so the job for the day is going to be installing this centerline Husky wave distribution hitch. Hopefully this is a nice little upgrade from what we have. I'm going to pull the trailer out and get started uh, right now. It's actually pretty good working weather outside for Florida in August. It's overcast and cool. level the trailer. Make sure it's level. I'm going to measure the frame at the front and the back. Twenty inches. Twenty-one inches. So the front's a little lower. Had to raise the front just a little bit more. So I got the trailer leveled. I'm gonna take off the old uh, receiver here. Hitch. Okay, so the next step is I gotta measure from the ground to the inside of the coupler and record that measurement. Okay, so that measurement was 25 and a half. Now, mark a spot on the side of the frame on the trailer as close to the coupler as you can. Measure from this mark to the ground of the pavement and record here. I've measured from the center of the wheel well on the rear and on the front. The rear is 37, the front is 35 and 7 eighths. I'm gonna start putting this together. Let's see. Uh, go ahead and put my locking pin back in. I'm assuming this one's going to go up like the other one did. A lot of hardware here. Okay, so I've got this up here in a temporary position for right now. I'm going to try to measure. It needs to be an inch higher. It needs to be an inch higher than the measurement that I took for the ball. So that was 25 and a half, so it needs to be 26 and a half. And I should be able to achieve that from right there. Okay. So that will work in that position. Uh, I just need to see what the next step will be. Now, I thread, I put this with washers. This is the pin that goes in here. Let's just see where it ends up at there. I'm gonna have to take a couple of those washers out. Oh yeah. I'm gonna have to go in farther than that. I'm gonna try taking two out and see how it does. Measure. It's hard to do with one hand or one person. 26. One more washer out. There we go. Alright, let's 
see that. It's a little over 26 and a half. I don't know. I don't know whether to put one more washer back in. It was, seemed like it was closer with the washer in. Let's try it again. It's 26 and a quarter. But without it, it is going to be That's 26 and a half, so yeah, two, one, just one washer in there. All right, so basically, let me thread this in. Tighten that down. Let me remeasure again. That is like, 26 and a quarter. It's going to go up a little bit more though. <laughs> Once I tighten it. All right, so I'm going to get some wrenches and I'm going to tighten this down a little bit. All right, I'm tightening this up. <sighs> okay, that's tight. I'll remeasure here. Let's see if I still got 26 and a half. 26 and a half, perfect. So that is perfect. It's tight. Now we put these on. There's this big guy. gaps in the channels. So there's a little bit of a gap here. And a little bit of a gap here. Might be able to might be able to fit two of them in there. Let's see. No, only one. Alright, the next step is to tighten this jam nut underneath here. Right there. Gotta tighten that jam nut right here. Alright, so I'm tightening the jam nut now. This is the fun part. I'm tightening these things up. <clears throat> yeah, these are always fun. I'm gonna have to get my torque wrench. It's one eighth. I guess I can do it this way. because I had to when I set up the other before. That's a lot of work right there. All right. Okay, spring bars go in next. Got to go get them. 
Pin back in. There we go. That's one. Take off these old brackets, not hard, and put the new ones on and measure them up. This uh, tool together here, real quick. Okay, so I need to measure 28 and a half between 28 and a half and 30 and a half from the center of the ball to where I'm going to mount the center of these brackets. I'll do that now. Take this apart. And let it rest on the frame. There we go. Okay. 28 and a half. So I can go back forward. I'm not pinching my propane. That's uh, 29 and a half. So I'm gonna do the same on the other side. I'll pause this for a second. Roughly put these in, and the bottom of the bracket's supposed to be roughly the same as the measurement from here to the ground on the hitch. So I just slide this in. There we go. Now they're in there. These go in here to lock it in. All right, let's time to lower it and see if it did its thing. Okay, so now I got to measure the wheel wells and see if they've changed, and if not, we are good. The back did squat about an inch, but the, the front stayed the same. So that's, uh, I'm gonna take it for a test drive and see. Well, just to the naked eye, it looks like it's sitting way more level than it was before. I'm, but I'm gonna test drive it right now and just see how it feels. So after driving to Key West and we're on our way home, I will have to say the Husky Center Line really made a huge improvement. Uh, we hit some pretty strong winds. I felt a little bit of the trailer back there at that point. But just driving down the road, it doesn't even feel like I have a trailer back there. And uh, so I'm pretty happy with the, the upgrade and the, uh, you know, the overall drivability of it compared to the other um, chain style that we had before. So I would definitely recommend the Husky Centerline if you're pulling a trailer 24 feet or so and you don't want a white knuckle drive and you want to be able to drive a little faster because I was able to drive I was actually going 70 mile an hour a couple of times and didn't feel like anything but I still typically only drive about 65 mile an hour tops there's just no point in driving too fast okay so very good product 
I'll leave a link to it in our description where I got it at Amazon because it was a really good price. So if you found this review and installation of the Husky Centerline trailer hitch uh, helpful, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more reviews and how-to videos and hit the little bell notification beside it that way you'll know when we upload a new video and drop us a comment.